Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna be showing you how I make my spinach artichoke party dip. And I'm gonna make it in my crock pot because it's super easy to put together and it'll always be warm and creamy. And today I'm gonna show you how I make it, step by step. Let's get started. So I'm ready to put my spinach artichoke dip together. My crock pot is set on high. I just turned it on right now. And I'm gonna spray it lightly with some nonstick spray. I never like to take a chance. Now here's my eight ounces of cream cheese, room temperature. I'm gonna dump it in here. Now you can set your crock pot on low and that'll take you about two or three hours before it's nice and bubbly and everything is melted. Or you can set it on high like I did and that'll take about an hour or so depending on your crock pot. Now I'm gonna put in one cup of sour cream And I've got three fourths of a cup of mayonnaise and I'm gonna add it in here. Now the combination of the cream cheese, the mayonnaise and the sour cream is out of this world. See, very easy. Now I have one fourth of a cup of finely chopped red onions. This is gonna take it up a notch. The flavor is gonna be delicious. And the red onions give it a nice color in here. Now I'm gonna add my garlic. I have one large garlic clove, finely minced. Now you can add as much garlic as you want. I love the garlic in here. It's just perfect. And I have one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Now the salt is up to you. You can add as much as you want. I'm gonna add my pepper. You can add as much pepper as you want. Mm, that's about half of a teaspoon. We'll see. Now I've got 12 ounces of frozen spinach. Now it's thawed and I squeeze the life out of it because you don't want any liquid in here. Otherwise, it'll be real watery. So I'm gonna dump my spinach in here. Very easy, see? Look at that. Now I'm gonna dump in my marinated artichoke hearts and I drain this jar really well. Now this is a 12 ounce jar. You can use any brand and it can be from a jar or it could be from a can, whatever works for you. I'm gonna dump it right here on my cutting board because I'm gonna give it a light chop. You don't want real clunky pieces in here. Just like this. See, that's perfect. Now I'm just gonna pick it up with my scraper and I'm gonna dump it in here. Very easy. And that's good. Now I have one and a half cups of freshly grated mozzarella cheese. Don't use the stuff in the bag. Go ahead and grate it fresh because that's gonna make it so creamy. See, the packages add something in there to keep it from getting all stuck together. And this way it's nice and fresh and it's just gonna be flowing and super creamy. And I have one cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Now you wanna use the fresh stuff there too. Ah, beautiful. Now with a big spoon, I'm just gonna mix it up together lightly. You can do the rest later. Right now, I'm just gonna bring it in together lightly like this. As it melts, it'll be easier to move around later. And that's good. So now I'm gonna replace my lid. If you're taking this dip to a party, this would be a good time for you to go and finish getting dressed, take your time and not have to worry about standing in front of the stove or the oven taking care of the dip because it takes care of itself. So now I'm gonna clean up my area and I'll see you in an hour. So it's been one hour and my artichoke spinach dip is bubbling lightly around the edges and that's what you want. Now I'm gonna be serving this dip at home. So I'm gonna change the dial to keep warm. But if you're gonna take it to a party, then you want to just unplug it and then go plug it over there at your party on keep warm and it'll be perfect. Now I'm gonna stir it really good and I'm gonna make sure that everything comes in together really nicely. Oh man, it smells beautiful and it is so creamy. I'm gonna show you how I like to serve it when I'm gonna entertain here at home. I'm gonna be using this dish right here, but you can use any type of dish that you want. Look, I've got some little boats right here and I have them in different colors because I never know how I'm gonna wanna use it. Now this big one, one is wider than the other one and it's a little bit bigger, but you can use any type of dish that you want. So I'm gonna remove this big spoon 
And now I'm gonna fill it up with my dip. Now as your friends enjoy it, you can always come back and you can refill it. Look at how creamy it is. And that's perfect. Now I'm going to sprinkle some red pepper flakes because we like a little kick, but you can leave it out if you don't wanna use it. And it gives it some nice color, you see? It doesn't take a lot. That's good. Now I'm gonna set it right here on my big round cutting board. I like using a cutting board because it just stands out when you set it on top of your table. Now I've got some crostini bread that I prepared earlier, see? So I'm just gonna set them right here next, you know, to the dish like this. And that's perfect. Now I have a combination of crackers right here on this platter. I'm using some Triscuit, some Wheat Thins, I've got some water crackers, and I also have entertainer selection. I get all these at the grocery store. You can use any type of crackers that you like. I also have some pita chips right here. I got these at TJ Maxx. Very easy. Now, you don't have to use these. You can use your favorite crackers. They all work and they're all delicious. I like to keep a combination of them because they're so easy to serve with any type of a dip. See, now I'm just gonna put the crackers around it like this. Look at these, see, perfect. So now it's time for the taste test. I'm gonna be having some of the crostini bread because that's my favorite, see? Look at that, super creamy, cheesy, and it's nice and hot. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. The best part about it all, it's real easy and really pretty. I know you're gonna love it. So this is my spinach and artichoke dip. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you.